Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about this fantastic shoe called the Callista Boot by Killstar. So if you've been thinking about buying them yourself or you want to hear what I think about this awesome new shoe, keep watching. Welcome to my channel guys, I'm Avelina Demore. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button and make sure you turn on the bell so you're notified of when I upload. And if you've been here for a while, thank you for coming back and supporting my videos. Just when you thought... <sighs> I couldn't be surprised or fall more in love with the shoe release. Killstar release this. <gasps> it's like all of my dark twisted fantasies for a shoe combined. Now let me give you a little bit of a backstory in my shoe collection over the years. So I went through a punk stage in my late teens and it started to go a little bit more goth early 20s. I have a huge cowboy boot collection but as my style went more dark I found that I wasn't able to wear them anymore, they didn't suit me. They either weren't dressy enough or when I wanted to like go goth rock and roll they were too dated rock and roll and my look has a very kind of modern edge to it. So when I saw these drop on the Killstar website I was like holy fuck, I need them. <laughs> so now I have them and my life is complete. End of video. <laughs> I'm joking. But what can I tell you about these? I was very pleasantly surprised by a lot of features that I found in this boot and I will tell you why. So from the photos on the website, you really only see this side of the shoe. I was a little worried that you might have to unbuckle those three straps there and you guys know what I'm like. I'm like, dang, if you have to do that. <laughs> I'm not gonna buy them because I don't have time for that. So, so relieved when they came and they've got a zipper. This, this is designed by someone that wears them themselves, you know. This company puts so much thought into what they release. And that was for me one of the biggest things I was so excited about. So this is just all a facade, you know, you don't have to tighten or loosen it. I mean, you can because there's adjustments there, but it's really not necessary. So I love the ease in which you can get in and out of these shoes. So for me already, 10 out of 10, because I've recently purchased some boots where they've had all these intricate buckles on the side and they haven't put a zip on the other side. So 10 points to kill stuff for that. The next thing is the heel. Now it says on their website that that is two inch. It's in nowhere a platform or anything crazy because it's such a wide solid cowboy like heel it's really easy to walk in. That's important if you're going for like a everyday shoe. <laughs> so this is my idea of an everyday shoe. <laughs> if that doesn't work for you get the fuck out. <laughs> it's also a really good heel size for say a day in the city or a night out with the girls or a concert where you're not going to get a crazy aching foot from wearing like you know a six inch platform or a four inch heel. There's just some times where that is not necessary. I love the height of these shoes. They're really easy to walk in. The next thing is the pointed heel. That is very traditional in cowboy boots. And I love it. I love the pointed shoe. Sometimes uh, companies release shoes and like I love them, but then they've got the rounded toe and I'm like, why? The pointed toe has so much more attitude and it's more witchy. So I'm like, yes. And you know, a little thing that I just noticed, I've had these boots for, I'd say, a month now. There's a fucking pentagram on the back there. Can you guys see that? I hope so. I'll zoom right in. Can you see the pentagram there? How cool is that? So on the little handle you've got to put your shoe on, there is a pentagram. Now that is attention to detail. And then I can have this boot for a month, wear it, nearly every day, and not notice that. It's crazy, because it's subtle, but it's just like a little extra thing. Very, very cool. I am a Euro 39 and I've had no trouble with Killstar, this stuff is completely true to size. So if you're not in America and you don't know what your US foot size is, you can just use their converter and it's been pretty accurate for every piece of footwear that I've got from them. They are 100% vegan, another plus. Pointed toe, low heel, spiky as fuck. <clears throat> and the main thing for me is that they're comfortable. A lot of shoes that I have look cool. <laughs> They're not necessarily comfortable and they're not ones that I'm going to wear to like a metal concert or god forbid a festival where this one I definitely would. I also like that they're very versatile in regards to what you can wear with them. So I can go casual and just wear black tights, like a rock and roll or a graphic tee and pop these on and I'm good to go. If I want to dress it up a little bit more I'll put on my black skinny like jeans and some kind of top with lots of necklaces or chokers and these still work, you know? Very versatile, and if you can't tell already <laughs> from this video, do I recommend them? Yes, I highly recommend them. You need to get these before they sell out and possibly never make them again. 
The sole is also really cool. Look at that. You can tell I've been wearing them. But it's got that non-slip stuff on here and here, which is really nice because some brands you get shoes and the sole is completely smooth. And then you, as soon as you walk on something that's slippery or wet, it's like stepping on a banana peel. So there's, again, a lot of thought that's gone into the manufacturing of a shoe like this. And the design is just beautiful. This is a little thing too, but none of the rivets have fallen off. They're all really well secured. The zipper is uh, steel, it's black with a really strong metal zipper handle there. So they're, they're just made for longevity, which is important because they're, they're not crazy cheap. They're not crazy dear either, but for that amount of money, you want to make sure that you're getting quality. And not only are you getting quality, but you're getting a really unique piece of footwear that is very versatile and well thought out. So again, 10 out of 10 for that. I don't think they could have done a better job. That is absolutely fantastic. So go out and buy yourself some. Treat yourself to a new pair of shoes. And let me know in the comments below if you think you're going to buy a pair yourself. I will put in some footage now as well of me wearing them so you can see how they look styled with tights and just what they look like on a pair of legs. Because I guess it's a little different when I'm just holding it like that. <laughs> Maybe I need to like... Does that help? <laughs> That's all I have to say on the shoe. It's all positive. I love that it's all positive. I will let you guys watch me walk about in the boots now. Please let me know if you enjoy this type of video. If you want me to do some reviews on more specific Killstar items, because I've got a lot of them, <laughs> let me know. I might actually do the Trant Patent boot next, because they are fucking insane. <laughs> Photo. Please subscribe to my channel, show me some love, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you all and I enjoy making the videos. So it's always very nice for me to read and reply to your comments and have a bit of a community feel to my channel when I upload a new video. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.